Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I am here, I'm just kind of casually. Um, if you guys saw my update video on just kind of where I've been, then you know that I have removed my cheek piercings and I wanted to just make a separate video just kind of covering as much as I possibly could about my decision as to do, like as to why I did that. Also, I want to apologize about my hair. I'll be so honest with you guys. It, my hair definitely needs to be washed. Um, but I'm kind of a lazy bitch and I can't really bear to wash it because it's just so long and it's like so thick and it just tries to strangle me and it's a whole issue. Um, yeah, so anyway, ignore my nasty ass hair. But yeah, so I have removed my cheek piercings. And let's see, you guys will probably want to know when I removed them. I don't remember the exact date, but it was in June. It was either the middle of June or towards the end of June. And um, for those of you who followed me on Snapchat, you will have known that I removed them for a while now. Um, I didn't go into detail when I drunkenly posted on Snapchat that I have removed them. Um, but yeah, so a lot of you that, you know, like I said, who do follow me on Snapchat, you already know about that. Um, but yeah, okay, so I did get a job. If you watched my update video, I did get a job. And you might think I had to take them out just for the job. Actually, no. My job, even though it was in a, it's at a nursing home, so it's a, like in the healthcare medical field, they were actually okay with me having them as long as I wore my retainers because my retainers were so tiny that the piercings weren't really that noticeable. And so I was all prepared to have to remove them for that job. But like I said, they were like, no, just wear your retainers and it's fine. So I was all good on doing that. Um, but then I got to thinking, I don't want to have to like switch between wearing my retainers and then like switching them out for like my normal metal bars that I wear in my cheek piercings. Um, because the cheek piercings, as I've said so many times, it's an awesome piercing to have, but they are such a pain to have. And you know, they get irritated easily. And for me, I know my cheek piercings, I know my body, um, and I knew that me switching them in and out you know, would definitely irritate them and they would flare up and I just was like, do I want to deal with that? And another thing is I was like, well, I don't have to constantly change them out. Like, you know, on my days off, I can still wear my retainers. But then I'm like, well, why would I even have them if I'm just constantly wearing my retainers so no one can really tell that I have them? Um, and then also, I just kind of felt like I'm working in a professional place, um, even though obviously like I am not, you know, caring for, you know, any residents, any individuals, because I'm obviously not like in the medical field. I have no degrees in the medical field. I have no certificates for the medical field, but I was just kind of like, you know, how would that work? Would, you know, um, some of the residents' families, like, would that be an issue? And, you know, all this kind of stuff. And then, you know, of course, my... Not that I have a huge social media following, not that I have a huge social like media influence, um, you know, but one of the things that I am known for is my cheek piercings and of course my cheek piercing videos here on YouTube. So it was this whole like internal debate with me um, and you know, I have talked about removing them in the past before just because they do flare up and I get so annoyed and you know, because I had had mine for three years. So it was a real struggle with me because I've had them for so long and it was like, you know, well, if I remove them, you know, what does that mean for my YouTube channel? Because I adore my YouTube channel. I love my, do I like, I love doing YouTube. Um, and like I said, like me having my dimple piercings, in my opinion, it's a big part of me here on YouTube. Um, you know, a lot of you guys have followed me based off of my you know, cheek piercing videos, um, because I have quite a few of them. So I just really ultimately wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Um, but obviously I did decide to go ahead and remove them. Um, just really based on the fact of I didn't want to have to constantly be switching them in and out from my retainers to my metal bars. And then like I said, like what's the point of me having them if I'm constantly wearing my retainers anyway? And for me, changing my cheek piercings is kind of a pain in the ass. I do it myself. Of course, you can go to a professional piercer. 
but I'm not going to go to a professional piercer every time I want to change out my cheek piercings, you know? Um, so for me, having to change them, it's such a pain in the ass. Um, and I have found that my cheek piercings, and this is just mine, like personally, after I wear my retainers for about five to seven days, um, they kind of do tend to get a little more irritated than if I would just be wearing my bars. And I don't know necessarily like why that is. Um, so yeah, that's ultimately why I decided to remove them was I just really didn't want to deal with the hassle of either constantly having my retainers in or constantly irritating my cheek piercings, trying to switch them in and out. And you know, my retainers, the tops of them are so incredibly small that you know you have to really be careful because um, you don't want to drop them because then you know you lose it and it would just be a whole thing. So that is ultimately why I decided to remove mine. Um, I don't, I don't necessarily like miss them in my day to day life, but like when I do like see a picture or something back in the day when I had them, it's kind of like mm, I kind of like how that looked. Um, you know, I think I don't know. I would, you know, if I'm ever able to in the future. Um, get them again, then 100% I totally would. I loved having my double piercings. Um, you know, it's definitely a piercing I would say you really need to research, and I've said that so many times. It's definitely a piercing you really need to research and see if you're really wanting to put up with all the stuff that comes with having them. But ultimately, it's a piercing I would recommend because um, I really did love mine. And overall, I had really great experiences with my cheek piercings. Not everyone is fortunate enough to have great experiences with their cheek piercings, um, but I talk all about that in many of my uh, cheek piercing related videos. But yeah, as you guys can obviously see, they did leave me with dimples, which was one thing I was really wanting. I was like, if I'm removing these, I better have some freaking dimples from it, and I really really love them. I think it's so cute. Um, and it's so funny because I get so many compliments on my dimples because even when I'm not smiling, I still have some dimples. And obviously when I'm talking, when I'm smiling, they are so prominent. Um, so I have gotten so many compliments on like having them and so many people will be like, oh I really love your dimples, they're so cute, like you know, blah blah blah. And some people will be like, did you have them pierced? Like you know, other people just think that they're natural. So, I don't know, I really like it, I am happy that even though I removed them, I am still, like, able to have dimples. Um, you know what, I'll just kind of give you guys a close-up of what they look like. <laughs> Obviously, I am wearing makeup. Uh, I wish I like, looked like that naturally, that would be kind of cool. Um, but, you know, you guys can still see them. Oh, and real quick, let me talk about the inside of my mouth, because, uh, I'm trying to make sure I'm covering all your guys' questions. Um, now on the inside, on this one... I can't really feel um, anything on the inside. I mean, I can feel like a little bit, but it's not like this side. On the inside of this one, there's like a dip, like a, not like a huge dip on the inside, but it's just like a, it's a noticeable dip, I guess is what I would say, um, from where the bars used to be. This one is relatively flat with my cheek on the inside, and the I removed them at night right before I went to bed. And I went ahead and put some Neosporin on them because they were actually irritated when I had removed them. And so, and obviously I didn't want anything getting in there. And, you know, I had washed my face, removed them, and then I washed that area again. And then I put some Neosporin on top just because you're not supposed to put Neosporin on a piercing. But since I was letting it close up, I thought that that would be a smarter thing to do. Um, so I removed them right before I went to sleep. And then by the next morning, like... Eight, nine hours later, they were completely closed. Um, and I could just visibly see that they were completely closed. I didn't try to stick my bar in or anything like that because I wasn't trying to save the piercing. So I will go ahead and give you guys a close up of what they look like. So I do apologize, I do have some blemishes because I am human. Um, but yeah. So that's what it looks like right there. Now, this one over here. I'm actually gonna, it has like this weird bump, but I'm actually gonna pop it later and see if there's any like leftover, like lint fluid in there because it kind of looks like it and kind of feels like there is, but that's what that one looks like. Okay, so I believe that that is everything in regards to them. Um, 
I can think of anything else, I'll go ahead and just include it in the description box. But of course, if you guys have any questions, I know I said I'm not answering uh, dimple piercing, cheek piercing questions anymore, but on this video, I definitely will because I know I might have forgotten some stuff. You guys might have questions I don't think to answer. So if you do have any questions, go ahead and that pertain to me removing my cheek piercings, um, go ahead and leave them down below. Please do not ask me questions in regards to like healing cheek piercing or like stuff like in that realm um, because I have tons of videos and I don't mean to sound rude or anything but I do have tons of videos and I honestly answer <laughs> every single question you could ever have about dimple piercings in those videos. Uh, but yeah, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, check the description box. And yeah, that is it. And hopefully I will see you in my next video.